This is John Julius Angerstein, an important connoisseur of painting. In the 1820s, his collection of 38 pictures became the nucleus of the new National Gallery and included this Adoration of the Shepherds, which he believed was painted by the Dutch master Rembrandt. In the harsh light of the gallery's photographic studio, curator Marjorie Wiesman explains why this is not a signature Rembrandt. This is a painting that has been in the gallery since the early 19th century. It is a version or a variant of a painting in Munich that we know was painted by Rembrandt in 1646. And for many years it was thought to be Rembrandt's perhaps preliminary study for that larger painting or maybe a variant that he made after completing that painting. It's quite different to the painting in Munich. The composition is reversed. So in the Munich painting, the Holy Family is on the right and the shepherds enter from the left. Recently, the decision was made to clean the painting to remove layers and layers of discolored, murky varnish from the painting and some repaints and see exactly what the painting itself looked like. Uh, we gained a lot of definition in the areas of the painting that are painted in this sort of shadowy brown. The rafters became much more legible, and also the figures over here on the right-hand side of the composition. As those details became clearer, it became easier to see that the brushwork and the technique of applying the paint was really quite different from anything Rembrandt ever did. Our scientific department did some analysis of the materials used in this painting. And there's a very distinctive sort of canvas preparation, a ground layer, that was only used, so far as we know, by Rembrandt and the artist in his immediate studio. And this painting has that sort of ground. Rembrandt, throughout much of his career, had quite a large studio of artists working with him and working for him. The less experienced young artists would make a very exact copy as best he could and the more advanced student would use Rembrandt's work as the basis for a more creative interpretation and judging from the extent of the uh, creative departure from the original in this painting we can probably safely assume that it was done by quite an advanced assistant in Rembrandt's studio. See this painting and discover many more stories behind National Gallery pictures in Close Examination, Fakes, Mistakes and Discoveries.